So in CSS Flexbox, there is an align items property. So of that, you can think of this as having a baseline across these elements as you see on the screen. So if we give this container a border, maybe just to signify where it's at. So within it, we've got some uh, content. I've got some lorem ipsum. Each div is its own proprietary class. Each div's got some base styles and then each one's got uh, variable heights and background colors. So in a real world, this might have content, images, whatever in it. Uh, maybe you're displaying um, a magazine layout or something like that. And you want to kind of align these things differently, even though the height of them is going to be variable. So um, oftentimes you might either use some margin or padding to offset those, which can work, but it gets a little tedious in those cases. So that's where these align items and flexbox come into play. I've already got these um, this container displaying flex, so it's uh, flex items, and the children in this case are in line and essentially just flexing within the container, so filling up the container as much as you can. Now, I want to my goal here is to kind of make them center in the middle of that container, so we could actually just say align item center, and they'll fixate themselves. And the imaginary line is like right here in the middle of that box and you could see them kind of you know push themselves down to it that's very useful and the default in most cases here is flex start and they're just going to shift to the top of the box just like we saw in the beginning now you could do the same thing flex in and they'll all shift to the bottom which is great too so actually i misspoke the default here is stretch flex start is a similar look and feel but it's not quite the same as stretch would be. Um, and then we can have baseline, which is kind of another way to contort them in such a way. And this won't make a big difference here, but it does when you're dealing with items um, with more text and stuff in line. So the line items property allows you to essentially align the content within the container on the, uh, basically consider this an imaginary axis across the middle of this container. So if we say center, we'll shift down to that. Um, accordingly, it should be align items here, excuse me, so align items. There, it's not going to really change much, just got the default as I said, so that's just how we're going to roll with it. I think the most useful ones here are going to be center, which I use pretty much all the time, and then flex, maybe end, you might use that quite a few times, or start, depending on what you're doing. Uh, maybe it's like a, a heading on some page and then a button to the right or something. You want those to be balanced when you look at them. So that is line items in CSS Flexbox. Hello HTML and CSS is my new course on HTML and CSS. It's, this is a more comprehensive guide of learning both languages and using them combined to make realistic websites that are professional and useful. Visit hellohtmlcss.com to learn more.